hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, today we are talking on a math problem inspired by harvard university entrance exam level questions uh, the equation we are looking at is x square minus x cubed is equals to 36 divided by 3 at first it looks simple but once you starting uh, solving it you release how quickly it tests your understanding of algebra uh, factorization technique and other algebraic formulas okay uh, so here uh, before uh, we jump it i want to hear from you what method uh, would you see first factorize factorizing uh, substitution method or graphing method and how many real solutions do you think this equation has and uh, my third question from you is that do you think the value of x will be positive negative or both so drop your answer into the comments and let's see who gets it right before the solution appears all right uh, let's get started uh, and here first you need to focus into the right hand side uh, and here we have this is 36 divided by 3 and we need to cancellation of these terms and we obtain here 3 1 the 3 and 3 2 the 6 so after simplifications we will get here x square minus x cubed is equals to 12 so now we convert our given equation into the simplified form uh, further you see here in the left hand side we have these are the two uh, terms are subtracted by each other for, so here we need to make these type of conditions to the right hand side for this uh, we break uh, this 12 as so we have uh, the one possibility is 8 plus 4 becomes here 12 okay so now we break our right hand side as in this form and we write it as 8 plus 4 we just replace this 12 equals to 8 plus 4 and uh, here further we write uh, our right hand side uh, as in this form this is x square minus x cubed is equals to this is 8 we write it as 2 cubed plus this is 4 we write it as 2 square and further in the next step we move all of these two values from right hand side to the left hand side and it will becomes x square minus x cubed this is positive term when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes negative this is plus 2 square becomes minus 2 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here we need to make the pair of square term with square term and we have this is x square minus 2 square and from here we need to take common negative sign and we obtain uh, x cubed plus 2 cubed and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here we uh, we need uh, two nice formulas the first is square and you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and the second formula is if we have a cubed plus b cubed is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square so we use these two nice formulas to the above equation and now here first we use this formula and according to this the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so after using this formula it will be written as x minus 2 times of x plus 2 minus and from in this term we apply here this cubic formula and after applying this cubic formula on this term it will be written as first you have a plus b and it will becomes x plus 2 times of this is a square here our a is x square minus x into 2 plus 2 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step you see here both of these two terms involve x plus 2 so that here we need to take common x plus 2 from here and when we take common x plus 2 we get the remaining values are from here we get x minus 2 and here we multiply this negative sign on each of these values and it will become this is minus times of x square becomes minus x square minus times minus becomes uh, plus 2x this minus times plus becomes here minus 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 
and further in the next step we need more simplification and it will be written as x plus 2 times uh, here we have this is minus x squared this is x plus 2x becomes 3x this is minus 2 and minus 4 becomes minus 6 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x plus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we write minus x square plus 3x minus 6 equals to 0. So from here we easily get the first root of the given equation is minus 2. Okay, This is the first root of the given equation and now here further uh, <clears throat> we need to solve this uh, quadratic equation. And for this first we need to write this into the standard form and for this we multiplying both of the sides by minus 1 and when we multiply each of these terms by minus 1 it will be written as x square minus 3x plus 6 is equals to 0 and here we use the nice quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation and for this we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 3 and c is equals to 6 and we state the quadratic formula as in this form so we have x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a and here we need to substitute all the values of a b and c and we easily get the value of x so we have this is minus b the value of b is minus 3 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 3 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 6 divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 and further in the next step we need more simplification and it will become this is minus times minus becomes plus 3 and plus minus square root of minus 3 square becomes 9 and here we have 4 times 6 becomes 24 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. So here we need to subtract these two values and we will get here 3 plus minus 9 minus 24 becomes here minus 16 and it is divided by 2. So here we need to apply the square root sign separately on both of these two values. So this will become here minus 15. Okay. So here we need to apply the square root sign separately on both of these two values and it will become 3 plus minus square root of 15 into square root of minus 1 divided by 2. And you know about that when negative sign appears inside the square root sign so it will become iota and we will obtain here 3 plus minus square root of 15 into iota and it is divided by 2. So because here our given equation is cubic equation so it means that our given equation has three roots and these three roots are in which these two roots are complex roots and x is equals to minus 2 be the third real root of the given equation. So these are the three roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.